Okay, so we got this thing in the mail. I had no clue what it was. I was like, what the heck is this thing? And then I noticed that it's literally coming out of the freaking box. I was like, who the heck packaged something that's coming out of the freaking box? And then I opened it up and I went, oh my god. So this is a real bear trap. This thing is as big as my chest. And it weighs a lot. Oh my god. These kinds of traps are considered illegal in the United States, but uh, this can still be sold as a decoration. But on the decoration advertisement, it was like fully functional decoration. <laughs> so, yeah. The way these freaking bear traps work is these springs are just insanely strong. They go down. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. See, they go down just a little bit. That's like my whole weight on it. And then this can open, and you have the trap set here, like this. And then when you press down on this, this will flip up, and the whole trap will spring closed. It, it wouldn't cut your leg off. I mean, it would if there was blades on the end of this, but right now you can see there's just teeth here. And then you basically wouldn't be able to move, because the way this works is once these arms are up, the only way getting this open is to literally like cut through this metal or to press these down, which is impossible to do without some kind of clamp mechanism or something. It's, <laughs> it's like enormous. Like that's my head by comparison to this. It's freaking huge. This is going to be absolutely ridiculous. We've got an iPhone 10. I went ahead and bought some of these guys really heavy duty clamps to clamp down the arm so hopefully we can open it and set it, which is really just nerve wracking and scary because of this, this thing could break my leg. Yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and set this bad boy up. After this video, I will not know what to do with it. If you guys have any ideas, post them down below. Giant springs. Oh, sh the iPhone fell, drop test. Yeah, don't think it's shattered. Oh, <laughs> it fell off the scooter. Okay, so that's me standing on it. And it's not going down. They're not going down, full weight. 230 pounds is not enough to decompress these springs. If I like, jump on it, it goes down far <laughs> enough, just barely. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is dangle the iPhone in the jaws here, and then we're gonna try to trigger the trap, I don't know, with like a stick or something, and see if we can get it to crush the iPhone, or if the iPhone can somehow miraculously survive the experience, which I highly doubt. Initiate project open bear trap. It's gonna be super, super important to make sure this latches perfectly. It would be exceedingly terrible and potentially lethal if this were to come unclamped in the middle of this, so I, I really hope it works out fine. Okay, so we're starting. Enter uh, time, time lapse mode. Enter, enter that time lapse mode. Bring me the other clamp, Morty. Put our hands in the freaking jaws now. The jaws of literal death here. Then this, I believe, goes like this. Just like that. While I have it held up like this, you need to loosen the clamps slowly. Oh my god. Okay, so can I let this go? And it's not gonna trigger? Let's find out. I'm letting go. Oh, I'm backing up. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. Okay, so we're gonna try triggering it with just the phone. I don't know if it'll be enough weight. I don't know if it's gonna miss. I, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, I'm super freaking nervous. Okay, and here we go. <laughs> oh my god. It didn't even do anything. Oh, oh it moved. It moved. Next Holy one. crap. One. Oh, jeez. This is so freaking scary, man. Three, two, one. Like I'm hammering it down is what it feels like. Okay, so we're gonna have to trigger this. I need something long and thin. Here we go. And three, two, Oh jeez, didn't work. Three, 
two. Frick! Oh my god. Okay, here we go. We're taking a look at the phantom clip. The trigger latch mechanism is lifting up. This is at 10,000 frames per second. So we get to see this thing just snap upwards and just crush this phone. Oh my God, here comes the jaws of freaking death. Oh, it grabs the left side first, then the right side comes together and whoa! The pixels right where it impacted just, just go black. And then we have an update refresh that makes the whole thing go green. That was such a gnarly cool destruction of a phone if I've ever seen one. Holy crap. So much glass and glass dust just going everywhere. And I think the clip ends with the screen just on a little bit. Wow. That, the way that it all turns off and the way it's destroyed just looks freaking epic. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at that iPhone. Holy crap, look at that freaking phone. Now this is still really dangerous because that phone could flip sideways. It could continue to spring. If I try to pop this sideways, I think it'll flip again. Oh, I don't know if there's gonna be a moving of that. The way the glass cracked, you can see the, the fractures here. The spider webbing is just insane. So I've got a hammer. I don't think this is the best tool for the job, but it's a tool, so we're gonna try it. Wow. Oh my God. Oh, Man, that just made it worse. Good luck getting this thing out now. The, the tooth claw looks like it went all the way through the iPhone. I mean, it's hard to say for sure. Jeez. Oh, the battery juice. You can see smoke. Oh my God, this is the worst way to do this. That tooth is just not letting go. Oh my God, we got it out. That, my friends, is a iPhone in a bear trap. Now I'm giving away a Razer phone for the month of April. There's a lot less people that have entered this giveaway compared to the last one. So if you enter it now, there's a better chance that you could potentially win. This is freaking gnarly. I cannot believe how much damage it did to it. Like, Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Now, if you want to see more wacky and fun durability tests, there's a whole bunch on my channel. And if you want to see the ones I post in the future, hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. That's it for this episode of Gizmo Slip. We'll see you next time. Brandon, out.